Tengo un montón de cosas para hacer hoy día. Oy, ay, ay, we did so much today. It was, well, you'll see. Good morning guys, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. The sun is out, there is not a cloud in the sky, but what is new? Uh, so far today we've gone to Longaví to figure out our contract situation for the next two years, which I think is all good now. Um, I thought it was all good a couple months ago though, but I think it's good now. Uh, we've gone to the PDI, uh, which is like the FBI here in Chile and figured out that we're good to go to Argentina this week uh, when we pass through and do different things in the south. And now, now we look for uh, dog, food. dog food. Yeah, today's dog going to be a little bit. So I feel like after our amazing day that we had yesterday, plus the experience that we just had, I need to focus our cultural difference into the friendliness of people in Chile. I feel like there are a lot of people around the world that are super, super friendly, and the United States, I want to say that we are very, very friendly as well. And I think for the most part, we are pretty friendly. but. I want to focus on just how much I appreciate the people here in Chile and how friendly they are. We just went to go and buy uh, dog food and um, there were two older ladies there and um, the other day I went there to try and find dog food but they were closed and that was because they go out to lunch and they have lunch with their families and things like that. Well, first time walking into this dog store and uh, they say right when we walk in, Hola, como esta? And they want to they have uh, coffee with us and they said, sit down, have some coffee. This is our local place to get dog food. Our first time ever going in this place and they want to sit down and have coffee with us. I mean, I don't feel like that exists anymore in the United States. I feel like here it is, it's fairly common, especially in smaller cities like Linares or especially Longa V, which is even smaller. There are people like that who genuinely care about others. And I do not take that for granted. I think it is super special and really, really cool. I mean, take this corner store that I'm about to go in. I literally took a glass Coca-Cola bottle the other day after asking them if I could, but they said, sure, no problem. You can take this glass Coca-Cola bottle and just bring it back when you're done in a couple of days. They were perfectly fine with it. And you can do that if you know the people and have a relationship with them, which we do. And I think that is really, really neat as well. Also, when you walk into the corner store, they say, hello, how are you, neighbor? Like, that's so cool to me. I never really thought that um, that existed anymore, that you'd still be called neighbor by a local corner store. Um, but I never thought these local corner stores existed until I got to Chile. They just don't exist anymore in the United States. And uh, it's a cool way to build other relationships within the community because, well, your neighbors are always at that little corner store buying things, along with those corner stores basically are your neighbors because they're right next to your house, because there are so many of them. And it's really, really neat. I'm born a soldier, baby, finally I'm over you. Okay guys, so we are now at that point where we can officially start to pack. This is what we're bringing. So 
the nice thing about traveling with friends is that they have some of the stuff and then we have the other stuff and we've coordinated with them who has what. And so we're pretty much set with our end of the bargain and have pretty much everything that we need for this trip, which is just to highlight a couple of things because I know that there are going to be questions about what we're using and how big the packs are and things like that. I'm going to go through just a couple of the things that I've got. But this is my backpack. It is 65 liters, which is perfect for maybe five or six days of hiking. Uh, Elise has a 70 liter pack and uh, it'll be perfect for this trip as well. A little bit bigger and a little bit heavier, uh, but she can do it. And it's a really nice pack as well. This one is Gregory and this one is Osprey. And both we got in the United States. Here's our three person tent. A quick tip about tents is first of all, get a tent that is really, really light for backpacking. And secondly, don't get a two person tent for two people or a three person tent for three people. Get one size bigger because a three person tent is really good for two people. So there's a three person tent for Elise and I. Uh, we have bladders for both of us that hold two liters of water. Um, some of our clothes, winter hats, because apparently it's really, really cold there. Maybe 15 degrees Celsius or something. Um, a rain cover for both of our packs. We've got these because it is supposed to rain and it's always good to have that with all the stuff and especially camera gear that's inside of it. Um, we've got a towel and of course headlamps. Essential to have headlamps, especially for taking great pictures at night or uh, if you are running late to get to your campsite and setting up your campsite or any of the above, headlight is absolutely essential. Um, not really sure about the shoes I'm going to bring. These are the ones I have right now. Uh, they're really, really heavy and they're fairly old, although I haven't used them a ton, um, but they're not the most comfortable boots or shoes in the world to go hiking many, many kilometers with. So. I'm not sure about those yet. Um, maybe tomorrow when we go to Santiago, I might uh, think about getting a different pair. Um, also essential, a teapot for making my uh, hot water for the coffee. Um, aluminum silverware, super, super important because it's really lightweight and perfect for uh, cooking and eating. Um, we've got a Kindle. Kindles are also awesome when you go hiking or traveling anywhere because we like to read and lots of books fit on this little, little, little computer. Um, so we've got a bunch of books to read here as well. Um, other things. Um, my nice camera is a Nikon D750. I take it pretty much everywhere I go with me to take great pictures. Usually the pictures that are in the uh, cover picture for YouTube videos are with this. Um, sometimes they look selfie-like and that's with the camera I've got right now, but a lot of the times I take nice pictures with that one. Um, things I'm not sure about are this tripod and this microphone goes on top of this really nice camera. Um, not sure if I'm going to bring it though because I'm hoping I have enough batteries for this camera here. Um, I've got mm, seven batteries for this camera um, for those five or six days that we are hiking in Patagonia. These usually last maybe three quarters of a day. So I'm hoping I have enough. I'm not going to be able to shoot every single thing I want to shoot while we are hiking, but um, I'll do my best with what I've got. I couldn't afford any more. <laughs> um, I'll also have my GoPro with me and that's the gist of it. Oh, and our sleeping bags. Um, mine is a, well, I don't know what it is in Celsius, but a 20 degree sleeping bag and Elise also has a 20 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag. Um, so they're very, very good. And we both have sleeping pads as well. This is a pad that goes under your sleeping bag. Um, and then if it gets a little moist, uh, if there's moisture at all, at night, um, that sleeping pad takes away that moisture from getting into your uh, sleeping bag. So really, really nice as well. My tripod is this little tripod here. It's great for backpacking. I think it's the next step up from backpacker uh, um, tripods. 
because it's a little more heavy. But this is a Mi Photo uh, tripod. You can check it out on their website. Um, they come in all different colors. I like the orange because I can always find it in my pack wherever we travel. So it's really great. But this is basically everything that we are going to bring with our clothes and we'll buy the food when we get down there. And um, that's about it. We're really, really, really excited though. And it makes it a little more real when everything is just laying out and ready to go for us. Cannot wait. Okay, so that may have taken a little longer than I was expecting to explain all of the gear that I have for Patagonia, but I'm just so excited. Anyways, um, right now I'm in this really, really cool office space and I'll tell you more about it as soon as this meeting is over. Give me just one second. So what was that all about? Well, that was a meeting with a group called Eco Turismo. And uh, in the last month, I've been really trying to find a group that cares as much about um, protecting the amazing places that Chile has to offer, as well as a place to guide visitors who want to go for a tour around places that I've been or even more impressive places. And so I finally found a place that uh, I can really believe in and really um, promote on this channel and say this is a great place to uh, take a tour with. And why is that? Now I have to explain that I do not have a contract with them and I'm not getting paid anything to promote their tourism. However, um, I do believe in this program because when I was in the United States, I was a science teacher. And with my uh, fifth through eighth grade kids, we would go to um, this urban ecology center. And this place was a place to teach kids that were mainly in an urban city life environment to teach them about the natural environment that's right around them. Teach them plant names, what the plants are good for, show them animals, show them that snakes aren't always bad, things like this. Well. I found a group here in Linares that does the same thing on a tour of amazing places around Chile. They also work with kids and with schools so that uh, they can teach people more about the natural environment that is around them. And what I really love too is that they want to protect this environment. So while you're on this trip, they also tell you um, to pick up your trash and make sure that you leave things better than you found them. And that is something I 100% agree with. Never did, and I know we gave it a try, gave it a go, gave it a reason. Uh, it's a little bittersweet though, I feel. I feel so excited that uh, I'm getting things worked out so that other people can enjoy the places around Linares. And I'm really excited for Patagonia, but I'm a little sad to leave our little doggies. But please do check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, Instagram stories, my new Facebook page. Thank you so much for uh, following me on there. You'll be able to see some really cool pictures of Patagonia we'll put up there. And plus, another announcement, man I'm filled with them, is that tomorrow at 8 o'clock we're going to have a meetup. Check out my Facebook page uh, so that you get more information. But we're going to Santiago tomorrow and we've got some time that we get to hang out with you. So, the shout out for today. So I feel like every day is a special shout out. However, today is a really, really cool special shout out because I got an email today from Evelyn's mom and she said that Evelyn has been working on these pictures of how you end your vlog every day. And she has two pictures that are absolutely awesome of Elise and I. And we really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you for taking the time, Evelyn. And uh, thanks for watching these vlogs. They live in the United States and they watch these vlogs, they say, every single day to learn more about Chile. How cool. Thank you so, so much. Anyways, guys. Today was kind of a crazy day with a lot going on. Uh, that happens before a trip. But Elise and I want to say goodbye for two weeks. We will be gone exploring and having fun down south and we cannot wait to show you the video from Patagonia. But the videos from The videos Patagonia. from Patagonia. But it's a little sad. 
We'll see you guys in two weeks. Oh. But for now. Ciao. Ciao. Oh my goodness, guys, what a blessing to have a day where I could be inside and get things done on my computer. Um, we had a fun morning where we got to travel around and uh, try and find things downtown. 